What's up guys, it's uh, Crack Bottle here from the Nerf Noobs 1 and today I will be bringing you guys another Nerf gun review. Today I'll be reviewing the Nerf Spectre REV5. It's also Christmas Day by the way, so Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas guys. Hope Santa was nice to you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, basically I'm going to start from the back and then head and then like proceed to the front in the review. And then I'll do the firing test in the second part because I'm not in a good, very good location to do the firing test. Like, this room is quite, you know, small. Well, not really small, but it's like, there's no like long or calls or anything. So I'll do the, um, the firing test in part two. But yeah, eh, uh, first of all, start, let's do the review. First of all, the stock. Now, the stock I don't really like. Well, like, it's, it's not bad. I think it would look good on the recon, but I've not tested it out yet. And I just got a, a, a notification on Facebook. <laughs> but, um, um, yeah, I'll just give you a quick look at what the stock looks like. like that. And then, see, it can go like that, twist around. And then, you clip it in at the back. You clip it in like this. At the back, like you clip it in when it's facing this way, like so. This like little like bumpy bit, this like bumpy bit here is facing my my right, your left, but just so that's facing here. And then like you'll start off probably at this. Oh god. This, like, you, you'll be thinking, why is, is this not, you know, staying straight as C, it just keeps flipping around. Well, basically, what, what you have to do is, this bit here, you clip in, like, a little bit, and then it sticks. Alright, but, um, overall, it's not a bad stock, I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't really recommend it, but it is, it's, I'm not bad stock. But, yeah. Uh, okay, moving on to this, the top, um, this is, uh, the cock, like, cockpit, uh, basically, just exactly like the recon, or, or, or the recon's, uh, like, thing, cockpit is much, much bigger than this one, like, this is tiny, but it's so easy, it doesn't even require you to, like, go, <coughs> like, pull it back really hard, you just need to, Cock it back really slightly, and that's you. Okay, uh, to get the ba, like the little rotating thing here, well, basically to get the bullets in, to fire it, you have to press this little orange button here. Wait a minute, let's get right here. Yep, you can see it. Uh, so you press that, and then push it out, and then you see, I've, I've, I've already got my bullets in. I think it takes, wait a minute, one. I think, I think it takes like five bullets or four, I'm not sure. But um yeah. Which like isn't bad. It doesn't really last that long, but it is a really powerful gun, I, I would say that. Um and yeah, so yeah, put it all in. You need to make sure that the bullets are really fully placed in, because if they're not like fully right in then um, I think it'll jam. Because that, that happened to me the first time I did it, like, it went, and then, like, the bullet didn't even come out, I was like, what? But then I noticed that it wasn't still in, I was like, alright. And then I fired it, yeah, I was like, even, but yeah, uh, there's one tactical rail, I've not tested any, um, like, oh god, I'm sleepy, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I've not tested, I'm not, I've not tested any, attachments on this weapon yet like all, apart from the stock and the barrel but you can fit a scope on this bit here which, which would look quite cool with the um, which would look quite cool with uh, the long shot scope with, in yellow I'm not sure if, if it would look any good with the blue one probably not good, but well, it, it would look the same, but the yellow one would like blend in because you see it's just all yellow, really. And yeah, 
I'm not gonna put 19 on this. Okay, but moving on to the barrel. The barrel is it takes it's quite hard to get the barrel off. Yeah, it's, it's quite it's quite hard to go. It's quite hard to get the barrel off actually. The barrel is basically like a little silencer that you can attach on, but you can also attach on things from the long strike, the long shot, the recon. I I personally I think the the long strike barrel would look really cool on it. And also the yellow barrel on uh, the recon. If you hear that in the background, that's just my uh, single spoon. But um, yeah, uh, it, it kind of looks like a silencer. It's quite small. Most people get like stuck because they don't know what, which way to put it on. It's this silver way. It's not the orange way. Um, and you see, shut up, phone. Thank you. But yeah. You see here, uh, it's like you to be directly at where the little orange like dot is. Uh, you twist it, and then you're ready to go. Yeah. So that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like on top of it. The handles. Oh yeah. It's it's also got a a little thing at, at the bottom for uh, straps that you would get with the deploy. And the uh, bandolier kit, so you can like carry that on, on your back, and then have like, so like, say you can carry that on your back, and you can have the Maverick on the front. And yeah, I got two. Ma I got another Maverick uh, for Christmas, so I can a Kimbo now. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, that is part one of the Nerf Spectre review. Um, oh well, no, first I'll do. A size comparison with the, Maver with the Maverick and the Spectre. So I'm, I'm doing it with the barrel, Spectre barrel off. Right, this is completely matched up. So you see, the Spectre is like, like, quite, like, quite real longer than it. Like, tiny bit longer than it. But yeah, anyway. Hope you've enjoyed this uh, part one of Nerf Spectre, guys. I'll see you in part two. See you guys.